Hello, I'm Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast. And I want to talk about the resource of the month. It's a resource titled Free to Believe the Battle over Religious Liberty in America, written by Luke Goodrich. And it is a book that I think is transcendently important, a book so good that I thought I'd do a video to capture your attention with respect to this book. Let me start by saying that if at times you suspect that reality is unraveling, you're certainly not alone. I could point to, well, I could point to the rancorous incivility of our current political climate. But truthfully, that's just the tip of an insidious iceberg. I could point to alarming assaults on our historic religious freedoms, but that isn't what causes me to lose sleep at night. My great concern is that as attacks on these freedoms mount, and they most certainly are mounting, most Christians are sadly clueless about how they are to respond. And again, that's why I'm recommending that you go to equip.org and ask for a copy of Free to Believe, the battle over religious liberty in America. Free to Believe is, is written, as I mentioned at the top of this video, by acclaimed attorney Luke Goodrich, whose legal expertise has helped to win Supreme Court cases from, well, hobby, lobby, to the Little Sisters of the Poor. What Luke addresses in this very timely book are sobering trends that will only grow more crucial with each passing day. Consider just a, just a few threats that signal an intensifying storm. Uh, California. California has issued a regulation requiring health insurance plans to cover abortions with no exemption for churches. Washington and Illinois, well, they've issued regulations requiring pharmacists to dispense drugs that can cause abortions. And the ACLU has sued Catholic hospitals for declining to perform abortions. Although the sanctity of life is just one battlefront in a much wider and deeper war, Goodrich points to a radical values and worldview inversion that is consigning traditional spiritual and moral values to the dustbin of history. Think about it. For the first time in American history, Widespread Christian beliefs are viewed as a threat to the dominant culture. The belief in absolute truth now viewed as a form, well, a form of discrimination, quite frankly, and the belief that abortion is wrong is now viewed as an assault on the health and dignity of women. The belief that God designed sex for marriage between a man and a woman is now viewed as an attack on the LGBT community. <laughs> if you think about it for just a moment, it was like just yesterday that people like Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, and Barack Obama were committed to marriage as being between one man and one woman. How things have changed and that with breathtaking speed. And not only breathtaking speed, but with breathtaking hypocrisy, these tyrants of tolerance have become so unhinged that anyone embracing beliefs other than their own, well, they're viewed as threats. If you think this is a form of insanity, let me commend your discernment. But if you think our liberties are somehow going to survive with Christians remaining clueless and ill-prepared, I'd encourage you to think again. And you're likely to think better about these issues if you read this book, 
free to believe. Again, it's available on the web at equip.org, available for those who support the ministry of the Christian Research Institute, prayerfully and financially. Go to equip.org, available for your support. Free to believe isn't about alarmism, although it does rightly sound some alarms. The conflict between gay rights and religious freedom is the most significant threat to religious freedom in the United States today. Not a threat, but the threat. If handled poorly, we can expect a variety of painful consequences. Religious business owners are going to suffer crippling fines. Religious counselors are going to lose their licenses. Religious universities will lose their, well, they'll lose their accreditation. And religious hospitals, homeless shelters, adoption agencies, schools, and other ministries will be attacked by lawsuits, and they will, mark my word, lose millions in funding and millions in tax exemptions. Religious individuals will lose their jobs. Their jobs as judges and clerks and social workers and military chaplains. This is to say nothing of purely private forms of social ostracism like like religious employees at private companies losing their jobs because they're labeled bigots or religious business owners facing boycotts because of their religious views. Why does it matter? Religious freedom is an issue of justice. And when the government pressures someone to go against their conscience. It is treating them as less than fully human and is committing an injustice. Just as imprisoning someone without cause is unjust, forcing someone to violate their conscience without cause is equally unjust. And unsurprisingly, Scripture and reason, therefore, bring us to the self-same conclusion. Again, let me say, it is crucial that you get a copy, not only for yourself, but for family, members, and friends, of this very well-written book by Luke Goodrich, Free to Believe, The Battle Over Religious Liberty in America. Again, the best way to procure your copy is go to the web at equip.org. And you can give there in a safe, secure fashion, receive your copy of Free to Believe. Thanks for tuning in.